I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARP Mix. So, <clears throat> I don't know how it happened or why it happened, but they're out there. They're always out there. I know it's only been a few weeks, but if you're still out there, you're scavenging around, it's my birthday. And I'll tell you what, no matter how apocalyptic it is out there, no matter what kind of nightmarish, I'm having a cake, all right? I think I've scavenged up some materials and I think I can make it. So if you wanna enjoy a cake in the apocalypse, this is how you do it. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a milk jug, okay? Make sure it's nice and clean inside and set that aside. Then you're gonna need a funnel. So we'll turn, we got a funnel. You're gonna need some flour, but we'll, we'll do that in a second here. flour if you can find it one and a half cups all-purpose uh, if you can't find it um, some other flour might work just pour that down to your funnel here and get it into your jug Obviously do this in your neighbor's garage or someone's house that you're going through because it's going to make a mess. If you don't have a big thing of sugar, if you can find sugar packets or scavenge those from an old restaurant, you can rip them all up and do this. There we go, sugar is in. Oops. People in this house should change their fire alarm batteries before the apocalypse. All right, all right, we're good. Sugar flour. You're you're gonna need a half a teaspoon of salt. You need baking soda, a half a teaspoon. You can find this in people's refrigerators. Um, if you can't find it somewhere else. You need a third of a cup of cocoa powder. This is gonna be a tough one to find these days, so be very careful when you're pouring it. If not, you're gonna have a vanilla cake, which is okay, but if you want a chocolate one like I do, be very careful with that part. Get it all in there. Next, you need a tablespoon of vinegar. Uh, any vinegar will work, but I would try to find white vinegar, but you could use apple cider, whatever the house you're in happens to have. One tablespoon of that stuff. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Also might be tough to come by. So if you have it, try not to spill it everywhere. Oh, baby. You're gonna need a third of a cup of applesauce. Um, you can use oil if you want. I would save the oil for other things. So if you can find applesauce, or if you're walking around and you see apples on the ground somewhere, depending on where you live and what time of year it is, you can smash those up in the sauce and put that applesauce in there.
you could also run this through the funnel, but I don't have very much. I'd smash up like 10 apples to make this. Okay. All right, and then the last thing you need is a cup of water. Um, if you found clean water anywhere, uh, congrats to you. Water. All right, a cup of water. Well, now comes the easy part. All the ingredients are in there. We're gonna put our lid on. And we're gonna mix it up. All right. Try to be too noisy though. Try to contain your excitement. You never know who or what's outside listening. Okay, find something to cook it in. I have some of these little tins that's able to scavenge. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna pour this on into there. Oh, that's looking good. Looking good. Okay. Put that lid on, we can save the rest of this for another day. Um, you know, or drink it later. But look at that, nice cakey cake. Now all that's left to do is just to cook it, so. Uh, if you can risk an open fire in your area, you can do that. If not, we can, go, we can cook this with a cigarette lighter. I would say, uh, I don't know, a couple hours, maybe 12, 15 hours with the lighter. Um, if you have something to read temperature, um, you're trying to get Actually, I don't know what you're trying to get to. So, this is going to be a while. We'll go ahead and fast forward while I cook this. And through the miracle of time, we have this cooked. Um, and here's what we got. A nice little cake. Don't forget to sanitize before. Good thing about having a pandemic right before the apocalypse. Lots of sanitizer. Be quiet. They're always out there. All right. Um, you know, like I said, we have some extra batter left over, so you can save that for another day. Um, the cake, there's no icing, but if you still have some of your water left, you can uh, you know, rub rub a little bit of that on top. So it's moist, and then uh, get your sugar. And uh, you know, just put a little sugar on top to sweeten up a little bit. And then uh, if you're lucky enough to have some utensils, get some utensils. If not, um, you might be able to just pop this little cake on out of this tray. Oh, look at that, perfect. Who says you need oil? Look at that, came right out. And then uh, happy birthday to me. Mm. Nice and dense, it's moist. There's a little bit of notes of apple and cinnamon from the cinnamon apple sauce I used. You don't taste the vinegar at all. And uh, 
know, it's just like a lovely little cake. Mmm. Mmm. Sometimes when times are bad, it's just these little things that really can pick you up. I don't think there was sugar. Crushed aspirin. Uh. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, God. Make sure you read the labels on your ingredients. Crushed aspirin. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Well, I'm almost sure I leave copies of this at police stations and churches. If I can find any USB drop points or dead drops, I'll upload to those as long as they continue to exist. So. If you find one of my videos, look around. There might be more videos around. <clears throat> it's going to be summertime soon, so I'm heading north. Go do some scavenging up there. Maybe meet some good people. I don't know. But if you find this, I'm heading north. Look around. Churches, police stations is where I'll leave this information. These helpful hints. If you do find this, I wish you best of luck in the apocalypse. Adventure on. aside right this recipe super easy some of you may know it as wacky cake some of you may know it as depression cake now it's really Max's apocalypse cake but we need very little ingredients for this like flour cocoa powder vanilla baking soda vinegar uh, maybe a little bit of salt some water there's no eggs there's no milk involved very easily vegan very easy to avoid any lactose in it, anything like that. If you use all organic ingredients, you use upscale stuff, you can get this to turn out really awesome. If you want to make a frosting for it or something, you can do that. Um, if you just need to make a quick cake, you can do that. I mean, there's no movie magic here. Like, I mix this in a milk jug, you know, using a box as a funnel. So this can be made anywhere as long as you have those couple ingredients on you um, there's lots of different ways to do it some people like to put little dents in the mix and pour stuff into it uh, yeah. not needed um, you can use instead of the vinegar you can use any kind of vinegar you can use apple cider vinegar any sort of like like light vinegar or I would probably go with white apple cider vinegar might be good um, you can use oil in it, any sort of light oil, canola, vegetable, whatever oil you have. I used applesauce. Um, I never use oil in my cooking. Um, to me, oil is just, that's like, no. I use applesauce to replace oil, one-to-one -one ratio. Try it next time you bake something. You'll love it. Um, you saw even without the oil, it didn't stick in this little pan. So, uh, the applesauce is great. Uh, this really does taste really good. Um, not faking it. It's really good. It could be better depending on the ingredients you use. You can throw nuts in here, you can put raisins in here, you can, you know, spice it up however you want to make it better. Um, like I said, you're only limited by the ingredients that you have. I just wanted to make this as simple as I could. So, uh, you can use water. Um, this is actually tea. Um, you can use coffee. Um, we'll probably, you know, whatever liquid you want. Um, I don't know if things like you know, sodas or pop would work, um, but you can try it. If you play a post-apocalyptic game, um, or depending on when the game is set, if it's set during, you know, the Great Depression or something, um, this is definitely something you can make. You wouldn't make it the way I made it, but if you play any sort of post-apocalyptic game or something, I think that this would be a phenomenal thing to do. Uh, you could throw this together in front of people. Um, this, you could cook on a camp stove you cook probably in a fire if you covered it with tin foil um, there's lots of different ways to do it the trick is you'll cook this in an oven about 30 minutes at 350 degrees is what I cook this at and I have enough to make probably three or four of these so if you want to make a couple of these for your group or something you could do that 
uh, 30 minutes for th at 350 or the equivalent of cooking this on, you know, uh, an engine or, you know, a fire or a wood stove, whatever you have available to you in the sun, um, as long as you can get it warm enough to bake. Uh, that's the important thing that matters. And uh, yeah, it's a really just awesome, versatile thing. Um, vegan, and uh, it's incredible, and I think you should try it. Um, something like this, to make this, the cost is incredibly low. I would doubt you have more than probably a dollar's worth of ingredients in here. The most expensive things would be the cocoa powder and the vanilla. You can skip the cocoa powder if you want this to be just vanilla or white. Um, leave the cocoa powder out. I would probably add a little bit more sugar and a little bit more vanilla to it. But, you know, experiment. See what you can come up with. Add stuff, take stuff away, try all kinds of combinations. Um, it really is a great thing. I hope you give it a try. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Let everybody that you know know about this crazy channel I have here uh, showing you all these cool barb things. And I mean, actually, I think this would be perfect for just uh, survival also. So, I mean, very useful to know how to make something like this. And uh, if you do make it, please let me know down in the comments below how it went for you, sort of what substitutions you made. I'll have the basic recipe in the uh, description below. But I hope you enjoy it. And um, of course, as always, adventure on. This really is pretty good. <laughs> I think next time I add chocolate chips, you know, if I can find them. Hmm. Ugh.